today I will show you how to make this audio reactive white flower in Clutch Designer. Um, if you're completely new to Clutch Designer, this video is pretty beginner friendly. I will not show you how to install Clutch Designer. There are lots of videos about that. Um, but I will delete my entire uh, structure and explain every step of the way and you'll be able to make something like this exactly like this tweak it a bit and make something pretty cool first thing we're going to need is an audio file in uh, you get into this menu by pressing tab and then tab again you can scroll through these page pages so we need an audio file in place it anywhere doesn't matter um from uh, touch center has a like standard song um you can hear it if you plug a device out and select the uh, right speakers so plug it in you'll hear something we won't need that right now first thing we'll do is turn this to mono um we're just gonna need one two channels because um they're most of the time they're the same um and it doesn't really matter if something is centered we we'll get the signal anyway uh, then we're going to plug in an audio spectrum. You can connect these uh, by left clicking and dragging. Uh, then we'll need an analyze. Connect that too. This basically takes an average of every um, channel. So it's now it's pretty much a volume meter. Um, we can do something with, with this number. Uh, in touch center you have in the top world, let's say we have a circle. Um, you have all kinds of stuff. You can tweak the size. So if we change this, the circle changes. You can also um, press your scroll wheel and drag to change it. The cool thing is we can link um, numbers to this. So if I drag this onto here, you see that it does something. Um, that is the big power of touch center. Um, to make this pretty, we're first going to tweak this number a bit. For that, we have oh, I have a math. Um, we have a section in here called range, and you can say um, what the input range is and what the output range should be. So let's say if the input range is zero and one, and we make the output range. 0 to 10. If the input is 0, it will be 0. If it's 1, it's 10. If it's a half, it's 5. It pretty much scales it to the appropriate value. Um, this input, we can see it's about on its maximum. Yeah, It's like 0 0.11. 0. Point, let's see. Let's do 0 0.1. Um, and we're going to need a an output of 0 0.15. Now, if we click this, I don't know what's called, viewer active button, um, you can interact with this number and you can, if you select your circle, you can drag your number onto these values. If you uh, drag it onto the word, it will um, connect it to both of the values and then we'll choose chop reference. Now you can see our circle is moving to our music. Um, next thing we're, uh, we're going to need is a displace top um, and some noise. Um, noise is a pretty pretty big thing in touch designer. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, so we'll connect these two together. Uh, and you can see it does some funky stuff. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. We need to go to the circle and to common and change the resolution to make it a bit higher. Uh, I'm choosing 1280, 1280. If your laptop or computer isn't that strong, you can uh, make this lower, but 1280, 1280 is the highest resolution for the free license, uh, for the non-commercial license. Um, We'll do the same to noise. So oh, let's then we'll make some slight modifications to the noise. Um, 
disable monochrome and it will be colored yeah and uh, then we'll go to transform uh, in transform uh, translate is pretty much moves the noise um, and the third parameter change it changes it i don't know exactly how it changes it but it does uh, and we can type an expression in here if you type apps time nice apps time dot seconds it will take the seconds uh, the program has been running um so it moves this is a bit fast so we can change this uh, expression and do divide by 10. now it changes pretty slow um next up we'll go to the displays and the displays weight uh, should be 0 0.3 so if we put this down you can see it's coming from a circle and it could even be lower and it displaces more and more and but we'll need 0 0.3 Okay, the next thing we'll do is a feedback loop. Um, just follow along with these steps and I will explain what it does later. We'll need a feedback top, a transform top, and a level top. Oh, and a composite. So, uh, yeah, connect these up. Also connect them here, down here. Um, what a feedback does is it changes the um the picture a bit and then uh, for every frame it changes uh, the picture again so we this is a transform we can scale something but every time um it every frame it gets scaled one more and that picture gets put on top um you'll see what i mean in a minute so we're going to keyboard to chop and then keyboard in place it here and this basically records the number one key on your uh, keyboard and triggers every time every time you press it we can reset the feedback loop by pressing pulse and we can connect this by dragging it and choosing chop reference so we can reset the feedback loop by pressing one that'll be useful uh, next thing we'll do is um, reference the feedback loop to the um, output picture so um, it knows what to repeat you can uh, fill in comp one right here but you can also drag this on top of there um, now we see nothing that's because this is in the wrong mode we need this to be in add now it adds everything on top of each other and this is not pretty yet um, because we're going to need uh, some modifications in here which will make it really cool first off we'll change the scale to 0 0.972 0 0.972 and already something is happening it's going to the middle uh, next thing is we'll put one into rotate so it rotates slightly uh, and the next thing is yeah the brightness in level make it 0 0.99 so it's get it gets a bit more dim as uh, soft as more often it goes through the feedback loop all right uh, next thing is we're going to take an edge of this picture so edge in the top world placed here this takes um, the edge of an input source it's pretty self-explanatory I really like it um, then we'll make an, another feedback loop so again feedback transform level composite Connect them up. Reference this to the feedback. Change this to add. And select this one and the feedback and 
again make uh, make the connection between the keyboard in and the feedback so we can reset it with we can reset both the feedback loops with one key um, now we'll tweak something again we will do seven one zero point nine seven one uh, I believe that's it and the uh, level will be zero point nine seven now we've got this funky thing it's almost the end result actually will need some slight changes but this is already looking pretty cool um, some just a quick sidestep is that we'll, we can view it by pressing uh, display uh, we can also do this a bit more uh, in a nice way by uh, pressing this uh, double window thing um, and then activating it then going to do to this drop down menu menu and then choosing top viewer and then in our main thing right click display and deselect backdrop tops and then we can make this a bit smaller now we can see what we're doing all right next thing we're doing is taking a displace plugging our main picture into there and taking our initial noise and displacing um, our picture um, and we'll go we're going to overlay these two pictures to make some nice background um, so we're changing the brightness for the level change that to 0 0.84 and then a composite and then a noise plug that both into there and this can stay on multiply because we want the like we have um, here our main picture but we want the structure of this noise so this is great. Um, then we can we need we need a composite, and we we can add these two into there. Change it to add, and we pretty much have our end result. Um, it looks a lot nicer with a black background. So we change that with uh, RGB key. I don't know exactly why it is, but this works and it makes the back background black. Um, we can disable this and enable this, so we have our end result here. Um, this is pretty nice. Um, if you, again, if you want to hear what you're doing, uh, so you can uh, add a device out and plug that into here, and you can see that it's actually audio reactive um furthermore you can uh, change th some things uh, to your liking like you can especially these transform bits in the feedback loop can are really powerful if i scale this more it gets really different uh, or if i rotate more get all kinds of pretty stuff also also change the color of the circle so I'll make it red. Um, now only the background gets red because the edge takes uh, makes its own color. So I need to change that. To, now it's red. Um, I like it more when it's white. So I'm just gonna leave it white. Right. Um, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. If you if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments i will try to respond really quickly um yeah thanks for watching